How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Huh? Did I not tell you? It's just starting to come together. Some of this stuff in the background is in temporary places for now. It's gonna keep changing, but hey, you know, it's coming together. It's coming together. I'm, I'm liking. I'm digging it. Yeah, the back wall's coming together. I'm gonna get like a collage of stuff, you know, stuff that I love. Daz Games 2.0. It's getting better, guys. It's getting better. Cults. Strange beliefs. Weird. Communities all are the theme of today's video as we delve into the world of a new trend. I don't think it's quite new. I think it's come. I think it's transcended from things like furries and all that sort of thing and pup play, etc. There are a few select people in the world that believe they are a wolf. Yes, straight up Twilight. There are people who believe that even though they can't physically turn into a wolf, spiritually, they can turn into a wolf. Video has been blowing up recently online, mainly on Facebook and elsewhere. And I've managed to track down the original video that you guys have sent me. It's called A Shift to a Wolf. Apparently, it features a young girl who believes that she can turn into a wolf. And i um, here to see that. Let's watch the video! Hello, people. Today, I am going to be trying to do a shift. Not sure how well this is going to turn out. In the background, what are those sound effects? Are you trying to do a shift? Not sure how well this is going to turn. Oh, is that to channel her inner wolf? Most kids are listening to BTS now, you know? This girl's listening to the sounds of the rainforest! Rainforest? I don't think wolves are in the rainforest, Taz. Get your geography right. For now, it's not what you're gonna expect. I'm probably going to not actually turn into a wolf. I'm oh, if you did that, the views, the view, think of the views. I want to see a full transition into a wolf. I'm sorry. YouTube's quite boring nowadays. I'm running out of things to watch. And if you could just turn into a wolf for me, I'd appreciate it. Imagine if she accidentally did, like scared herself. <laughs> I'm probably going to not actually turn into a wolf. I'm yeah, and then like by accident, she actually does. <laughs> like eats her family <laughs> or something. <laughs> No! No, that's not gonna happen. It's gonna act very wolf-like, most likely. We'll see what happens. And if I sound a little sick, it's because I have a flu. Oh. Maybe it's best not to turn into a wolf when you have the flu. I mean, I know I wouldn't want to be a wolf with flu. What does that sound like? Oh. <laughs> an ear infection, so... Yeah. And an ear infection, I'm sorry. God. Flu and an ear infection. You look very healthy for someone with flu and an ear infection. I've only got to get a cold and I'm dead. Not fun. As you can hear, I also have wolf howling in the background. Why is this? Okay, yeah, she's acknowledging the wolf howling in the background. I'm glad. I'm glad she acknowledged that because I thought I was hearing some stuff. Here. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Is that... Is that a tail? That's a tail, right? She just pulled the tail out of her ass. You saw that, right? Why's she got a tail? LINDA! Do 14 year old girls have tails? RESEARCH! I see a lot of these, like, communities, uh, sorts of people that they, they actually wear fake tails and ears and stuff, like, a lot of the time. Becoming, like, a, a trend. I actually saw a woman walk down the road the other day and she just had one of these weird, like, I think they're like belts or something. Ta and the tail was poking out through her jeans. Like, she actually cut a hole in her jeans for the tail to come out of. Just walking down the road with a foxtail, just swinging. Swinging like that. What is this trend? Do I need a tail? You know, I, I just want to be in fashion. Oh, I think she's going to turn now. We're going to see uh, a shift into a wolf. So let's observe. Okay, side side note there. Ah, uh, the way she's running her nails along the floor. Ah, oh, God, does that not make you like, whoo, get pins and needles? I don't like that, it's like a chalkboard thing. The nails dragging along the carpet. Ah! I know that's probably what I shouldn't be focusing on in this video, but it's, 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 it's making me feel a certain kind of way. <laughs> uh, isn't it cats that do that clawing? That's why I don't get a cat. 
You know, it's two reasons, very good reasons I won't get a cat. One, they just leave home, you know, and decide to go live somewhere else for a while. And then they come back thinking, do you know what? The other place wasn't so great. I think I will stay with you. No! Get out! Second of all, that clawing shit. Wolves don't do that. They don't do that shit. I just want a cat to come and sit on my lap and just relax. Chill out. But they don't. They do all that clawing shit in your lap and they just cut your legs to shreds. And they spin round for hours doing it before they just sit down. Imagine if humans did that. We'd look mental. Just sit down, cats, all right? I can't stand it. <laughs> Oh, that was quick. That was actually quite quick. I was expecting like it to take longer, but a few growls and carpet scratches and we're there. We're a wolf. Is that, is that a raccoon tail? Sorry. What? <laughs> I swear that's the tail of a raccoon. I don't, that, that, I don't think that's a wolf tail. What breed is she? What we need is David Attenborough to narrate this. That's what we need. These rare raccoon wolves spend a lot of the winter in their bedrooms, wearing cardigans knitted by their grandmother. She observes dominance by stretching her hind legs and observing the horizon for threats. She fucks off. She's gone. I don't know where she is. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> oh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my David Attenborough impression. Yeah, let, let's uh, round of applause. Round of applause, people. Pinda, clap! I don't hear you clapping. Oh, she's back. Oh, okay. Well, imagine being her parents downstairs, listening to that racket upstairs. Can you can you imagine it? Mm, I tell you, I almost had a war at the fucking school today. Mm. Candice's child was bullying Janet again. I swear to God, it's always the annoying kids that never get kidnapped. You know, the ones you really want to get kidnapped. What was that? Sounds like it was coming from Janet's room. Do you want to go see if she's okay? Because that was quite loud. Mm, mm. I'll be right back. Where to God, I wish someone would kidnap my child. Janet? Janet? What are you girl doing? Janet? Janet? Janet, your mother and I were... <laughs> oh, oh. Honey, call the therapist! I hope you appreciate that. That was a lot of work, just for one joke. <laughs> Oh! She straight up murdered her toy. Was that a bunny toy? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was that at all necessary? That wasn't. Never is. Where's she gone? Did she migrate for winter? Oh, shit. She was like, <laughs> she was so in character that when she stood up, I was like, wait a second. I've never seen a wolf. <laughs> I've never seen a wolf walk down the street. Imagine if you're walking down the street and a wolf just walked past you like, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Scare the crap out of me. All right, that was me shifting. No, no. I don't, the only thing you shifted was that rabbit from your bed to your floor with your teeth. And don't you have to like, shift out? Is that the expression? You know, you, I mean, you shifted in, but then you just snap back to, you know, being a human. I thought, you know, this is, this is what happens when Twilight gets made. When I was growing up, werewolves were the shit. They were like fierce, like proper vampires were actually scary, not, Kelvin Klein models. Just drink blood with a paper straw. <laughs> they ripped your throat out and left you covered in blood. Werewolves. It was agonizing transformation. Ever since Twilight and Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf. 
God damn it! Now these kids think they can just, without their jaw splitting and their eyes changing colour and claws piercing out their hands. Now they can just buy a raccoon tail and duct tape it to their pants and they're a wolf! That's just all it takes now! What has happened to vampires and werewolves? I do not know what happened. I do. I don't really know what the name is for this sort of like community. I know like furries and puppy play, that's all different and much more adult. But there is this type of community who they kind of half dress like animals and believe it's their spirit animal, if you will. Guys, thank you so much for sending me this um, viral video. I'm still getting set up here. As you can see, there's still stuff on the floor and whatnot. Um, I am getting ready for a house tour. Like, love, caress my channel. Stay dazzling. <laughs>